Okay, so this morning uh, I will talk about the following. I will, uh, we looked at the people that were attending this seminar and um, some people were relatively new to this, so I will spend about two minutes about explaining about triples and graph databases. Then I'll spend another minute talking about Allegro graph features. I really promise I'll keep that short. Then uh, I will look at how Allegro graph in the past was doing a loading, indexing, and querying. And I can already tell you that we were doing really well on loading and indexing, but we were slow when we were querying on reasoning triple stores. Um, and I'll explain why that was. Uh, then, as Steve just mentioned, we've been working hard uh, on a query optimizer this winter. And I will give you some statistics for how we're now doing uh, where we compare 3.1 versus 3.2. And we'll compare Allegro Graph uh, versus some other triple stores that start with an O and that do reasoning too. And then finally, uh, I'll show you a little bit how we do things uh, internally when we take Sparkle or Prolog queries and make them fast. I have to apologize uh, the people that usually listen to my talks. Is usually I try to have not too much code recently, but this time there will be a little bit more code again. Uh, our director of sales always tries me not to do it, but he's having a baby right now, so <laughs> I have my chance to go a little bit deeper into code. Uh, but let's start with uh, graphs triples in the triple store. So uh, for those who have never worked with a triple store, um, if you look at the relational database, you usually start with making a schema, and then you fill in the data in your schema. With a triple store, basically what you do is you say, create triple store. This is how we do stuff in one of our Python uh, APIs. You create a triple store. Now you have a triple store. And then without making a schema, you can start adding triples. And you could say that there's a person, Steve, who's an organizer in 52, or Jan, this is a psychologist in 50. Craig is a person in 32. Oh, this is still very regular. Why not do this in a relational database? Well, the first big difference is that in a triple store, you can add one-to-many relationships uh, incredibly easy. Uh, no indirect link tables. You can just add it. And because this is the semantic web, you can say whatever you want to say. So I can say that the person one likes pizza. And then you have a graph. You see what you see here. You see the link, the, the nodes, and you see the link between the nodes. And then without adding any schemas, you can just keep adding information. So, by the way, this is uh, our thick client called Gruff, which is our Electrograph browser. And keep adding information. I can say uh, that person 3 is a neighbor of person 1, and person 3 is a neighbor of person 2. And suddenly my graph got a little bit more complex. I now see more relationships here in the middle. Um, and here you see the neighbor of relationship. And once you've done that, you can query your database. And we provide two ways to do it. One is a Sparkle, and the other is Prolog. Um, Sparkle is the W3 standard for querying databases. But it's, it's like SQL. It's, a, it's an, an access language. Whereas our Prolog is a the thing that you see here. Looks for, for simple queries nearly the same. It's more like a full language where you can make rules and uh, do slightly more complicated things than you could do in, 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 in Sparkle. Um, and then with the triple store, you can do reasoning too. So I could add a triple that said uh, first name domain person. In English, that means every subject that has a predicate first name must be of type person. If I add that triple, then suddenly we see that person 1 and person 2 and person 3, who all have a first name, are now suddenly a person. So this is probably the shortest way ever to explain what, what reasoning is in a triple store. Um, so that about the triple store, we have on top of that a, uh, a thick client uh, um, on Windows and on Linux, unfortunately not on the Macintosh where you can do Sparkle queries. And then here you get your results. 
I can click on something and suddenly I get the full graph for the results of my query. And so this is the graph view of the results of a query. And if I wanted to look at this thing, I could click on that and I would see more details of a particular node in the database. So this is more like a traditional database view. And then in 3.2, we will also release a new um, web browser for our triple store. It's called the Allegograph Web View Browser. And I give a small quick demo of that. Oops, let me go there. So this is the Allegograph Web View. Um, I can do queries. I can choose here between Sparkle and Prolog. Um, I'm doing this. So what we see here is I have a triple store open. Actually, I have a few triple stores open. Um, here's one, which is the Lubum 8000. I'll talk about that one in a little while. It's a triple store that has 1.1 billion triples. In this database, the reasoning is enabled. Here's some namespaces that I've added before. Um, and then I can go to the recent queries. And I can say, take this Sparkle query. And it already executed it. So this is, let me do this for a new query, otherwise you won't believe me. So I will say new. And I. So one of the cool things, by the way, about this web browser is that it does parenthesis matching. And so what you see here is it will match the, um, it will match and it will do the indentation right. Uh, and I can execute it, and here I get the results, and I could click on any result, and then we'll see that there is a, uh, a graduate student, 44, there's an email address, there's a member of something. This is artificial data, by the way, from the Lubin benchmark. Um, and I can do the same queries in Prolog, so this is actually the same query in Prolog, and you see the same result here, and then again, I can click on that, and I get into this data, in this view. OK, so this is about a triple store. Let me go back to the presentation. Some features of Allegro Graph. Um, we are a very scalable and, uh, and, of course, a persistent triple store. We uh, load 1.1 billion triples in 20 hours on a single CPU machine and eight hours on a four processor AMD machine. If we do that, then we do actually load the data in four streams in federation. Federation basically means in our system that you can have um, a collection of triple stores on the same machine, on, on our different machines. Then you create a federated database, which basically is a set of pointers that point to other databases. And then our Prolog and Sparkle and Reasoner will work against that new this abstract store, and the query engine will figure out where your triples are. Um, we are compliant with all the standards, um, so we don't lock you in. So we do RDF, RDFS, OWL, and Sparkle, and all the other things here. Um, we have one proprietary thing, which is um, this RDFS++ reasoner, uh, which is not a full OWL reasoner, but a subset. So we do everything in RDFS, and then OWL things like inverse of same as has value, transitive property. Um, it might be proprietary, but both Oracle and OWLIM are basically having the same reasoners. Um, and I guess that in the near future, there will be some kind of standard for the slightly uh, more restricted OWL reasoning. And then we do full text indexing, and we have uh, Java and Python interfaces to the triple store. And in addition, we do some things that no other st triple stores do. We um, uh, native data types like numbers and, tele and, and, and uh, dates are part of our entire indexing scheme. So we're just as efficient as relational databases in uh, doing range queries. And given that we have that feature, we also